Um, it was a back and forth game. I felt like for most part, we didn't really do a good job um, offensively. We didn't really get into our sets. And I take a lot of blame for that because I'm the point guard. I'm supposed to be running the show. But um, it was a good game overall. We put up the W. You guys started out slow in the first quarter. You went down by as much as 13 points. You got it back, though, took the lead in the uh, halfway through the second and then didn't let up all the way to the end of the game. What was that change, and how did you change that momentum? Um, we know it's, basketball is a game of runs, and they went on their run to start out. They have home court advantage, and uh, we just knew that we would be able to battle back, and once we battled back, we didn't let them catch back up. You got two players ahead of you in scoring when it comes to averages. They're both 2018s. You're the third leading scorer, sitting at a 2020, right, as a graduate. You got 13 points tonight. What do you credit to those points? Um, <laughs> well, first of all, my job on the team is not to score, it's to facilitate. So that's really what I'm focused on. And today, I think I only had about three or four assists. So I, I'm trying to focus more on getting my assists. But scoring comes easy once you get your uh, open look for the guys. So. All right, we got to get to the good stuff now. 30 seconds left in the game you got the ball you are almost falling out of bounds able to find joe jones right under the hoop he puts it up for two almost solidified the game i'm gonna say with that play tell me what's going through your mind at that point um we have to we have to make a play that's all i knew um if, if we didn't get that play it would have been a turnover they could have came down got on went on a run so getting that assist was a big bucket for for joe and that really sealed the game and now I want you to talk about the play that everyone is talking about when they watch your game. 12.2 seconds left. Your team scores, which is great. You're still not up by a ton going into 12 seconds. They're inbounding it. You grab the steal. Again, 12 seconds left. Able to throw it off of a player's uh, leg. I forget what player it was. Throw it off his leg. Goes out of bounds. You guys get the ball back. That was the TSN turning point, if you want to call it that. Walk me through that play. Well, we were up by eight, and I looked at Coach Nate, and he said, the game's not done. So I knew I had to pressure him. He told me not to let them roll the ball. And me and him, me and that player have been going back and forth all game. So I took it personal. I got up in him, and I got the steal, and it felt good. Of course it did. And after the win, you guys moved to a 3-0 and record. What are you going to expect to you guys, the defending champs, moving on to the rest of the season? It's only the beginning. Last year, we lost two games. This year, we're trying to go undefeated. So this was a good, this was a good stepping stone. All right. Congratulations again.